homosexual is not just simply a deviant who's fallen astray from God's path. No. He seeks to destroy the civilized world around him, to pull everyone else down into decadent ruin. No sacred tenet or institution is safe from his iconoclasm. No man or woman is safe from such fatal temptation. And worst of all, no child is safe from his corruption. Oh, this is bullshit. The homosexuals aren't praying on our kids, for Christ's sakes. I have a few gay friends myself, and all they want is to be left alone, and to be safe in openly expressing their love towards their consenting adult partners. Christ, these holy rollers make it sound like a few gay guys kissing. Goodbye, Western civilization. This year, Centralia Elementary School will not recognize either Mother's or Father's Day out of concern with alienating those students with same-sex partners. Is your young child showing signs of transgenderism by playing with toys or wearing clothing that is typically associated with the opposite gender? Now would be the best time to introduce your child to hormone blockers. The LGBTQ plus community is proud to incorporate the letter P into our political diaspora in solidarity for our equally repressed heterosexual brothers and sisters. Centralia's annual Pride Parade kicked off today with some very special guest marchers from the local kindergarten class. As Governor of California, I am proud to announce that we have decriminalized those who intentionally infect others with HIV. We found previous laws to be homophobic. Oh, we also made a criminal offense to uh, misgender someone. Oh, thank you. In Women's Ultimate Fighting Championship yesterday, transgender contestant, the brave and beautiful Maxine Carnage, had taken the title after literally pummeling to death every opponent within the first round. And on a tragic note, one of the contestants was posthumously disqualified from the league after it was discovered that she had made transphobic remarks against the stunningly gorgeous Maxine. She was recorded to have said, Help! Somebody! This man is about to murder me! We here at ESPN would like to condemn President Trump for inspiring such hateful rhetoric. The words can hurt you now. Look, all I am saying is if the vast majority of boys and girls are in fact heterosexual and cisgendered, and evolutionary biologists have determined through rigorous research and testing that there are significant differences between male and female brains, then shouldn't we be teaching our children about these natural differences between them? so that these children can better understand the other, and hopefully one day to reduce the skyrocketing divorce rates and broken homes for over the last 40 years? Well, that sounded a bit heteronormative, don't you think? And who are you as a straight white man to be talking about such issues? Check your privilege. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be homophobic with my questioning like that. You forgot transphobic too, you white male piece of shit. Yes, well, uh, again, I, I apologize. Please, please don't get me fired. Okay, that's it. Craig, spark up the ovens. We got work to do.